how are you doing? Hey, how are you today? These are two terms I despise when it comes to how your business greets its customers. My goal is to help to help restaurant owners finally get to where they want to go. But more than that, my goal is to find entrepreneurs within that segment that actually know what it means to hustle. That's my goal. Come on the journey with me. Restaurant Marketing Secrets, episode 169. I'm your host, Matt Plapp, and we are brought to you by America's Best Restaurants. America's Best Restaurants is on a path to help you, independent restaurant owners, find more frequent customers, Because you know what I love to say, infrequent customers don't pay the damn bills. Let's uncover something new today. There is nothing worse to me than having to answer the question, how are you today? How are you doing? It's a nuanced question that for whatever reason, all of us are programmed to say to each other whenever the hell we see somebody new. I'm no different. It is in our brains. I am trying to reprogram myself to where I do not say it and especially do not answer it the normal way. I want to talk today about your restaurant and how this is an opportunity for you to stand out amongst the crowd of Red Ocean restaurants. And I'm going to dig into Red Ocean, Blue Ocean next episode. I've talked about it a few times. I think it needs to be talked about every five to ten episodes because Too many restaurants are operating in the Red Ocean. I want to get you into the Blue Ocean. So let's talk about that. How can you eliminate that question or that phrase? Because it happens right now. It'll happen today at your restaurant. Somebody will walk in the front door and your employees will say, Hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. Cool. What do you want to eat? You don't give a shit. You don't care how they're doing. I don't care how... They're doing. We don't care how each other's doing in that instance. It's a nuanced question. Now, if I walk to the walk into the gym tomorrow and see a friend at the gym that I haven't gotten to work out with or seen in a month, I'm like, bro, how you been? I sincerely mean it. It's different. In the restaurant space, you have to find a way to connect with the customers when they walk in the front door. The easiest opportunity is to ask them a question that helps you move them forward in the conversation. Have you been here today? For a brief time, I worked at the Rapid Fired Pizza on Mall Road. A small regional franchise used to be located, owned out of this region by the Wileys. Now it's owned by a different group in the Carolinas. But I worked there because we had a location that was a client of ours. And I wanted to understand the dynamic of being a a worker, be at a restaurant. I had worked in restaurants in my past, but as a marketing person, you know, as running the marketing. And I was there all the time. I sat in Hoffman House and Quaker Steak and Lube for 10, 15, 20 hours some weeks and would work just to watch. I would meet with managers. I'd meet with team. I would do training. We would launch marketing initiatives. But I was never the person that brought the food out, that cut the pizza, that dropped it and screwed up and had to make another one. And by the way, in three months. Never dropped a pizza, and I was in charge of taking the pizza out of the ovens and putting them on the thing and cutting them up and putting them in the boxes. I did give the wrong person the wrong pizza one time, but I did not drop any. But I did this because I was in Kiowa Island at a restaurant show, and I was listening to David Scott Peters speak. I was speaking. He was speaking. I went and sat to watch his session, and he said something that really got my attention. He had told a story about his time working for his mother in the restaurant space. And I thought, you know, I really never have worked at that capacity in the restaurant space. I'm going to do it. So I texted Michael Kassman, who at the time owned this location, said, Michael, I want to come work for you for a couple months, two, three days a week, three, four-hour shifts. I just need to fill in the gaps. I need to I need to figure this out. I want to see what you see, and I want to hear what your employees hear. And I heard exactly what I thought I would hear all the time. How are you doing? Hey, thanks for coming in. How are you doing today? How's it going? And I heard a bunch of other stuff from a standpoint of marketing, but that was the one that got me. What I, what I thought the most about this brand, how they could stand out was rapid fired pizza was different than most pizza places. It's a place you go and you build your own. 
And so it's a perfect opportunity to ask, have you been here before? Yeah, I have. I come all the time. Yeah, I thought I recognized you. Hey, what what are you getting today? Are you getting one of our, our standard pizzas? Are you building your own? What do you got today? And so it's an opportunity to have a conversation. And for me, one of the things I teach our restaurants, yesterday I recorded some videos for our, our membership site, three specific ones teaching employees how to avoid that question. And one of the biggest things to do is when they say, have you been here? Have you been here before? Yeah, I come all the time. Great. I'm assuming you're a member of the pie club then, right? Well, no, no. What, what's the pie club? Dude, it's our VIP program. It's not a loyalty program. It's a VIP. It's something a little different. Let me do your, before we make your pizza, let's scan this code and get you involved. And so that was the reason this came up because I was training employees of our clients through our portal. I guess I could say I'm not training them. I'm putting the videos in there and hopefully they'll go through them. But my training is about how to eliminate those questions and what to replace it with. We interrupt your program for a brief announcement from our sponsor. Hey, it's Matt. And yeah, that was me. But guess what? We don't have any sponsors. It's just us, America's Best Restaurants. We don't take money for our podcast. We don't sell sponsorships. We don't have product placements. It's just me giving you advice that can help your restaurant get to the next level. But what I would love for you to do is check out what America's Best Restaurants is doing at americasbestrestaurants.com. Check out our ABR Roadshow on the Get Featured tab. Or check out what we're doing under Restaurant Marketing Help that can help you, independent restaurants, take the next step in your marketing. Now back to the podcast. The other thing I saw at Rapid Fired was over and above that, and it happens at every restaurant, is the the fact that everybody had their own little saying, had their own little way they greeted customers when they walked in, had their own little way they cashed them out, had their own way that they asked them to, well, attempted to ask them to join the loyalty program or download the app or give us your email, whatever. There wasn't a whole lot of continuity. And I got hit with that recently when it comes to my team. So in June of 2021, we hired a couple guys and we built a new department of outbound calling for a couple of our products we have here at our company. And I sat in the conference room with my dad and Doug, who's now our COO. And my dad's one of our sales trainers and one of our business trainers, I guess you could say. And then these two guys. And we would make calls round Robin on speakerphone, They would call one, I would call one, my dad would call one, Doug would call one, and we would fine-tune our messaging so that within two weeks, we had gotten ourselves all on the exact same page. We all had the same story. We did that, and then we got away from it. We grew from those two to four, and from those four to six, and from those six to 12, and those 12 to 16 in that department. And we never consistently put in a training how the process worked. We never onboarded people. We just had them go sit with somebody and do this and watch them. And so flash forward to October of this past year, and I'm looking back at all of our different things that had happened from June 2021 until October 2022. And there were so many ups and downs, so many peaks and valleys. And I couldn't figure out why. Why is this thing so different? Why are we crushing it one month, doing decent one month, doing terrible one month, doing amazing again one month? Why are certain people all over the board? So then I took a couple weeks and I sat and I listened. And I listened and I watched video because we record almost everything we do with our team. And I'm watching and I'm listening and I I was blown away. Everybody was different. And when I started talking to a couple of people why they were doing things different, that's how they were trained by this person. Well, this person was trained by that person. And so I realized I had to pull it back in. And so with that, in November, Matt Plapp went back into our sales department because that's my passion. That's my love. I do it. My whole thing I do every day is, is lead market sell. How do I lead my team? How do I market our company? How do I sell my vision to our customers and to my team? I realized I had failed at training and building a training program for those people. And so, oddly enough, when we put that in place, guess what happened? Mid November, we kind of did a reset. 
We had a week where we had a lot less work to do. We took the week off before Thanksgiving, and we did some had conversation with everybody to see where they were at. We then, after Thanksgiving, came back, had a raw, raw session, laid out some groundwork, laid out a 90-day sprint, and I laid out things that were going to help me get more involved. I started sitting in the offices of all of our team every morning. I started having phone calls with them every morning, every night. And I started fine-tuning the messaging and fine-tuning the training. And guess what? We had a record December. We, had, we were already above our January with a week left. It was the largest month we've ever had in one particular department. And it had four or five major months last year. And what's wild is everybody's numbers have gotten better. We manage everything. We look at numbers. What are their percentages on the six different steps in our cycle? They've all gotten better. And it's because we fine-tuned our messaging. And so I say all that, that your restaurant needs to have that same consistency. Everybody, when they walk in, need to be greeted the same way. There needs to be a purpose to the greeting. If they're going to walk in and you're going to say, hey, have you been here before? No, I haven't. Well, before we do anything, I want to make sure your next visit, you have a free perk. Because we know you're going to love this one. We want to make sure you come back. Do me a favor. Scan this. Do boom, boom, boom. Cool. Now, here's our menu. Here's how things go here. What do you like? What do you not like? Okay, let's go down this route. You like bacon? Cool. You like jalapenos? Cool. We got a bacon jalapeno burger with pepper jack cheese and this spicy chipotle mayo. Oh, I got to have that. Cool. Let's do it. You've got to have a consistent way that you do things. I saw it. You're more than likely seeing it but not realizing it. And one of the easiest ways to start the consistency is to start from the beginning. What's happening on the first interaction? That's all I got. I'll see you next episode. So as you know, I don't charge for my content. We don't have sponsors. We don't have product placement in here. But what I want your help with is spreading the word. If you're finding value here, do me a favor. Share this on your social media. Share an episode with something that made sense to you, that's relevant to your restaurant, that you got value from, and tag Matt Plapp and America's Best Restaurants. Also, go to America's Best Restaurants on Facebook and on Google and leave us a review. Let us know the impact we've had on your restaurant with our roadshow, with our marketing help, or with our podcast. And last but not least, if you want to take the next step and help me out a lot and help us out a lot, text me a testimonial, 859-743-2408. That's my cell. A selfie video would be awesome about the impact this content or our company is having on your independent restaurant. But worst case scenario, just a few kind words. The way we can help lift this industry up is to help get content like this to more independent restaurant owners, and you are the key to spreading the word. I appreciate your support. Have an amazing day.